This is QD Video brought to you by Room Now Live, the connected digital meeting. It's all about networking and interacting. And that's how we're going to measure education at this meeting. It's really going to be novel. Check it out. Today's lesson, today's case, is about a 14 year old who became a 23 year old, all the while having enthesitis related arthritis. This interesting young gal presented to me at age 14 with bilateral heel pain. She had a year of pain and dysfunction. She was an athlete. She was actually sort of a state level, world class kind of athlete, trying to get a college scholarship. Uh, and um, because of her enthesitis in her heels, she was unable to uh, perform and her future was in jeopardy. Uh, so she came and of course we did some testing and HLA-B27 was positive. Um, she had already tried a few non-steroidals. She was put on a TNF inhibitor and boom, her life changed dramatically. You know, she'd been called plantar fasciitis. She had had some low back pain, but she had no other features of a spondyloarthritis um, and related conditions. She had no iritis, no GI, no skin. Uh, her back was back pain, kind of inflammatory, but not truly inflammatory and never developed over the many years I followed her, sacred ileitis. Um, and of course her heel pain, which was largely Achilles tendonitis that, and with some plantar fasciitis thrown in, uh, was dramatically responsive to TNF inhibition. Um, she resumed her athletic career, got a college scholarship, moved away, came to see me every six months. And I've been following her and she's now 23 years old. She's a wonderful young woman. She's in business. Uh, she's completed her education. She continues to take um, sort of a half dose. She spaced out her dosing on her TNF inhibitor to take it um, twice as infrequently. You do the math. But she's doing really, really well, not needing non-steroidals. Um, had a little back pain recently. I did a recheck of her back x-rays and they were normal and she has no sacral ileitis. And again, she's never had eye disease. Um, and really might have had some swollen ankles to begin with, but honestly, arthritis synovitis has not been a part of her picture. It's been largely enthesitis. So this subset, as we know, it's the JIA subset has been reclassified several times. This, this is now called ER, ERA, or um, not early rheumatoid arthritis, but instead enthesitis-related arthritis uh, occurring in a pediatric uh, population. They like to present with um, enthesopathy. They may have uh, oligoarthritis or polyarthritis. They tend to be older in that 9 to 16 age group. Um, they um, can get back pain, inflammatory back pain. They seldom have sacralitis, but they could have sacralitis. And this subset could make up as much as 15 to 20 percent of children presenting with arthritis uh, before the age of 16. Uh, and guess what? This can, can, can continue. Twice this young woman has discontinued her TNF inhibitor only to have her heel pain return. So we'll continue to test that over time. Uh, she seems to do well again on half dosing uh, of her TNF inhibitor without any side effects or risks. Uh, and again, she's now childbearing potential, so we'll have to discuss that with her um, at each visit coming up. But again, the uh, outcome of these young people can be really, really good with TNF inhibitors and possibly with other agents like the IL-17 inhibitors as well, should they be needed. So interesting case, uh, tune in to QD video for more like this.